Hey my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're at Home Depot to start off our big box store plant shopping video. I am excited. I'm going to be taking you to Home Depot, to Lowe's. It's possible we're going to go to another Home Depot. It depends on how much time we have. And before we get started, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Again, sorry it's so dark. I can't control bring the light in hello uh but yeah we're gonna go to a couple big box stores and i'm gonna show you around i haven't done this in so long i'm so shy now bear with me because filming in public is so cringe now the hardest thing about today is going to be not buying any plants it is the time of year where the big box stores start to get in their really big shipments and there's probably going to be plants that look really fun and i am not to buy them i'm gonna exhibit self-control today you guys so we have these really pretty phalaenopsis orchids they're super colorful they're super colorful and they have a bunch of different types oh look at that wow we have these bamboo too they are, however, glued into place. Some sago palms and ponytail palms. This is the tiny version of Victor the 1975. Some Sansevierias and then some little four inches. Four dollars. This is the same thing twice. I feel like they were supposed to cut that in half. I'm thinking. We have some Diffenbachia along the floor. Oh, this one's pretty. They're getting in their big cactus. I really love these ones. This is Euphorbia Horda, and this is huge. This is old, you guys. People buy these in tiny, little tiny ones for like a decent amount of money. And then there's just these big ones. I really miss the Home Depots in Arizona. They were based. These ones are pretty. Ooh, they're like really thick. It's nice. Oh, do you like my leggings? My granny got these for me. Bigger Sansevierias. Oh, look at this little succulent. That is so beautiful. It's three for 10. This dusting on the top of these plants, by the way, is called farina. And it's like a plant's natural sunblock. They actually have really nice succulents. Do you guys like succulents? One time at a Lowe's, so not a Home Depot, but a Lowe's, I found a variegated string of hearts in the succulent section. It was pretty cool. Okay, it's time for all of the big plants. We go. Oh my gosh. Plants, hello. They have lithops, check these out. This is so cute. Oh my God. Have you guys seen videos where they like peel these back and then there's like more in there? Look at all the succulents. Here's a bunch of these four inches. This ivy is really nice. Oh, this Fetonia is huge. got some is this antenna fern no this is rosy maiden hair literally the world's largest fetonia up here we actually have some hoyas which is super exciting so this is hoya species affinity bertoniae this is a pretty popular one for at least the home depot in my area to get and there's also a ton of oxalis in there this one's like all marked up though. It looks like it was probably under a different Hoya and it like leaked all over it. Uh, they're calling it Bilabata, but this is Species Affinity Bertonia. And this one is $16. It's a pretty good price. Then they also have this. This is Hoya Lacunosa. There's a ton of different varieties of Lacunosa. I don't know exactly which one this is. This one is also $16. They have a couple different of these too. Like there's different options. They have really, really nice staghorn ferns. Look at that. Oh, that's just like begging to be mounted. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. This one's also 1698. 
Over here, we actually have some uh, string of tiers. These dudes are, uh, this one doesn't have a price, but these ones do. It looks like it says $14.98. And they not only have string of tiers, but they also have a string of pearls, which is super adorable. Someone, uh, just a second ago, they actually walked off with a super like big one had a ton of hanging little string of pearl vines. I wish I had gotten a photo of it before they walked off with it, but it was really nice though. It's so pretty. Honestly, a string of pearls makes me feel like it's summer. It's just a very like summery vibe. There's also uh, the string of bananas, but I don't really like those ones uh, quite as much personally, but all these are $14.98, so really good price. Some larger succulents over here. The farina is just so nice. Wow. They have a ton of Rufidophora tetrasperma, like an absolute ton of it. All of these are $19.98. And I think these are the tissue cultured variety, judging by how pointy they are. I personally don't think it should matter. I think that if you like a plant, you should get the plant. If you don't like its shape, then don't get it. But tissue culture has made plants a lot more accessible than they would have been before. So I am personally a fan because plant accessibility is important to me. We also have some begonia maculata whitey eyes. These ones are really beautiful. Look at the baby leaf. Oh my God. And then we have some pretty sad syndapsis trubii, moonlight. These ones, I feel like they just never do well. Part of that is just shipping, you know? And then they also have these uh, Epipremnum Panatums. So you guys know Epipremnum Panatum Albo Variegata. This is the unvariegated version. It's also uh, the Cebu Blue, Epipremnum Panatum Cebu Blue. I am a slut for that plant. More Begonia Maculata Whitey Eyes. I don't think there's any more here that I am in obsessed with, just like from glancing over them all. I do like this really tiny ficus lirata though. I love ficus. They're calling it baby bunny bellies. That is so adorable. Over here we have some of the larger plants. So we have the ficus burgundy, rubber tree, different bacchias, big old peace lilies. I don't see any monstera though. Well, except for that one Adam Sony eye. Big bird of paradise. Oh my gosh, look at these. Bro, I can't even reach the top of it. They have, oh, I love these. They're only $20. Oh my God, I love cat palms. Look at that. I love them, love them, love them. Oh my God. Okay, so that's actually gonna be it for this location. So we're gonna go to the next big box store location. Okay, we are at the Lowe's and we're gonna go take a look at what they have. So let's go. So this is usually where they have the really good plants. So I'm pretty excited to take a look. Any of the cool plant drops we've ever got in Boise are like always from here. We have some succulents. These ones don't look as cute as the ones though at the Home Depot. Yeah, they just don't look as nice. Yeah, let's pass on those. We do have some ficus though. They are only $34 and they're huge. Look at this. That is literally massive for $30. But all the good plants are always down here. So let's go see if there's anything fun. Oh, it looks like they just got a shipment in. Cute. We got some curly lipstick plants. I saw these from like all the way over there and I was like, oh my gosh, did they get Hoya Carnosa Compacta? But no. They have these massive, oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at that. I literally already have one of these, but I want it so bad. This is another uh, species affinity Bertonii, but this one is really nice. It's like sun stress and everything. Like, look, 
at how beautiful that is. Are you joking? These are $24 and they're sold by Plant Smart. Oh my gosh, it has fuzzy leaves. This might actually be, this might actually be a Bilobata and not a Bertonia. Oh my God. I don't have money for plants right now. And this is one that I'm gonna be really sad that we're not picking up today. Genuinely makes me sad. Oh my gosh, that's just so beautiful. <laughs> These are cute little baby raffus palms, little China doll tree. Look at this little fern. That's so cute. Marble Queen. Also, these are all, all of these like plants and pots are from a brand called Live Trends and Urban Jungle. And we love them. We love them a lot. Like a lot. They're the same price as other brands that we don't like, uh, except that they also come in pots. Look at this, Rifidophora. Oh, it's so pretty. I love plants that shingle. These ones are, I think, 24. Okay, so these are $25, $24.98. We also have a bunch of these really cute little, like, hanging thingies. I think that these plants are glued in, which I don't think is actually healthy for them. We do have African violets. Okay, on this side, oh, look at how pretty these plants are. Live trends, baby. I love them. Their plants are just seriously next level quality. Like, I don't even like Birkins. And that's just beautiful. Comes in a pot and everything for literally the same price as every other plant that doesn't come in a pot. Uh, these are big medallion calathea. I actually haven't seen Calathea sold in Idaho for a minute. Big box stores. And then I think that this is a Macaulay's finale. It's really beautiful. Ton of the curly lipstick plants. They're quite literally everywhere. They're $24. Some really pretty Phalaenopsis orchids. Some ZZ plants, crotons. Oh, I love this begonia. This is actually one of my favorite begonias. To me, it's like a begonia species jalau. $10, these used to be $4 plants. They were four, I might have actually picked one up. Cause I just got paid, but I'm not gonna pay $10, sorry. No, but seriously, them selling plants in like pots already is next level. This little Pilea peperomioides, it's $13. Like this is literally two more dollars than that begonia that I liked. And it's in a reusable pot. Plants are really stepping their game up, you guys. Look. Oh my gosh. And then back here, they actually have some philodendron heteraceum and then some epipremnum aureum and neon epipremnum. Everything comes in pots. It's so fucking cute. Do you guys have this brand where you live? Oh, and then they have a, it's not sphagnum, it's um, Selaginella. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and I totally didn't even see these. This is Pothos and Jade. This is a super popular uh, type of epipremnum. This one is $14. And they have a ton of them. Person stocking this section is, they have done a beautiful job. Like it actually all looks really good. And the plants look really good too. We also have big spider plants. These dudes are beefy. $14.98 check this out over here we have some more four wow. inch plants tons of phalaenopsis oh, look at these oh they're talking about gossip you guys um look at these calathea burgundy rubber tree they actually have a lemon lime calathea tucked back here. Look at how beautiful that is. This type of variegation, by the way, is called pattern gene variegation, and it will be the same on every single leaf. You can have multiple different types of variegation also present at the exact same time, by the way. It's like you could have chimeric variegation present in pattern gene. They have some little curly spider plants, 
some more pothos and jade. Then they have monstera. Should we take a look and see if we can find an Oreo? Oh, they have money trees. We have to check those too. I haven't gone sport hunting in a while. If you guys don't know what sport hunting is, it is where you look for monstera sports uh, in the normal monstera. And you can find albos and Oreos on occasion if you're willing to look hard enough, but you need to be careful when you look because you don't want to like accidentally break the plant leaves. So here's the money trees. For those of you who don't know, my husband and I have been hunting for a sport variegated money tree. It used to be like our thing that we would go do. We would go to big box stores together when I would film and then we would look for money trees. And I told him that we can buy one or I can trade for one, but he says it's not the same and that he just wants to find one. So I don't really want to dig through all of these right now, but there is a ton. Normally when I look, I can kind of see things pretty off the bat and I don't see any variegation signs or symptoms on any of these. Yeah, I don't see any. Uh, let's take a look at these plants. Lots of more four inches. We have some peace lilies and chiflera. These plants don't look as good. Have some more golden pothos. Do you guys like this plant, by the way? Let me know if you like it. Cause I know a lot of people like it and a lot of people like me really don't like it. <laughs> we have some four inches, some tinier peace lilies, some smaller variety, not variety, but a uh, pot, I guess. Some little poke, are we, these are Fetonia? Polka dot plant. I can't tell the difference, you guys, between polka dot plants and Fetonias. I don't know why, I just can't. A cute little form. Oh, it's so cute. So cute, so cute. Big ol' and theriums. We have a bunch of rehab plants over here. Here's the prices. Oh, this one's on clearance. Why? Oh, the pot broke. $13. So this is $7. Okay, I'm actually going to buy this because I think it's seven dollars yeah i think that this is seven and that is a really good price and this plant is perfectly healthy there is literally nothing wrong with it and i'm gonna take it <laughs> i will accept the broken pot that's actually based tons of money trees i guess these aren't so popular anymore actually i shouldn't buy it i told chris i wasn't gonna buy any plants what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a photo of this and i'm gonna post it in my local facebook group and i'm gonna tell them to come and buy this so I'm gonna come and buy this. I'm gonna do that. But other than that, that is actually everything here. There's this big 50% off of this. And it was, I can't even tell what price that was. Poor guy though, poor tree. Oh, there's actually more Monstera. Let's take a look before we go. Plants, hello. Ooh, this is a pretty leaf. Check that out. Trying to be so careful with all the leaves. These are actually really nice Monstera. These are big plants, uh, $34. That's kind of expensive, I think, but. This dude is $24 for this massive palm. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's gonna be it for this location. We're gonna go to possibly the final location. Maybe not though. I might stop at another place. Oh my gosh, my bangs look so jank right now. It's okay, we're owning it. I intended for them to look this way, 100%. I wouldn't lie. Anyways, I'm gonna take a photo of that plant, post it in my local group, and then we're gonna head to the next place. Okay, you guys, we made it. We are at the last the last big box store of the day. It has been such a long day. I have filmed at three big box stores, an Edwards and a North End Organic Nursery, and my bangs are so frazzled. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and shower and eat so much food. I am so, I have literally been up. I have been out and filming for six hours. <laughs> I'm coming out of this with three videos, only three videos. I mean, that's still a lot. That's like a whole week's worth of content, but okay. Let's go finish this, baby. It is shipment day today here as well. Let's go see. Looks like it's pretty similar. Species Affinity Bretonii. Permanent Panatum. Pearls and Jade. More Bretonii in the back. Prices are all gonna be the same, so I'm not gonna like look at the individual pricing again. They also have more of that like 
twisty lipstick plant. I found a really nice uh, sport variegated monster here once. That's a really cute leaf. I don't see like anything crazy off of the bat. Just like scanning. Have more of the live trends in urban jungle plants. Same exact bobbles. Oh, they have this peperomia though. I love this peperomia. I don't like these pots, but I love this. Peperomia, I wish I could remember what it was called. This is another brand of that same place, Urban Jungle Live Trends. It's like, all, there's like three different brands. A little Sansevieria, Synconium, another Bertonia. Honestly, it's just like Hoya Watch. More twisty lipstick. It looks like it's just identical, which is kind of sad. Sometimes this place has better plants and sometimes that one does. Oh, they do have Begonia Fedora though. The most fedorable plant. <laughs> this is um, one of my favorite begonias. They also have Begonia Espargo. This plant used to be super trendy two years ago. Very expensive begonia. I love Begonia Fedora. It's so shiny. It's one of the only Rex begonias that I actually like. Curly spider plants. I think they're called Bonnie. I think everything is like the same. Oh, they do have some strawberry begonias, which are not actually begonias or strawberries. They just kind of look like strawberry leaves. And so that's why they call them that. It's not even a yeah, strawberry plant. Yeah, it's not a strawberry plant. Oh, well. Tons of these four inches. I really don't like these. I don't know. I know they're like not, I am not the core person they're advertising to, but still I don't like them. I see this and I'm like, okay, I don't, even want to look at that. <laughs> but I will show you. These uh, marble queens are pretty though. $10. I really wish they hadn't raised the price on these. It makes me really sad. These are really beautiful marble queens. And then they also have the other begonia that I like here. Kind of resembles a begonia jalau. This one and then that begonia fedora I showed you are the only two Rex begonias I actually really like, to my knowledge at least. Look at how blue it is, wow. All right, so I'm actually gonna be ending the video. I am exhausted. I more so just wanted to come and see if they had something that we didn't see at the other store and it's literally exactly the same plants. So I'm gonna check out, not like check out, like buy things, but like leave, so. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Follow me at Planting Ashley on Instagram and I'll catch you guys in the next houseplant section. Bye.